Hi guys, it's Inspirational Nails, and I'm here to show you this amazing stamper that I got, and I'm super excited to show it to you. Um, it's not the Creative Shop stamper, it's actually a different stamper. This stamper um, is amazing for doing like decals uh, for your nails, um, and not for really stamping on the nail. Uh, because it's it's definitely flat and I'm so excited to show you so um, I already have stamped an image on it I've already painted the image but I am gonna show you how I'm gonna put it on these nails right here that I've already prepped and this color that's on here it is so beautiful I gotta show it to you guys this is um, this one here from Orly it's oops it just started flying everywhere. <laughs> it's called Frosting. This is so beautiful. It looks exactly like frosting, um, like a butter frosting. It's just so gorgeous, really beautiful. Look at that. It has like this really gold type of shimmer on it, and it's subtle, and it's just so very elegant, very beautiful. It's very pearly like it's just beautiful I absolutely love this I actually got this today um, at Sally's Sally's had 50% uh, off all of their clearance for Saturday and Sunday only so I got so many beautiful colors they even had OPI which they never put OPI on clearance and they were too 250 for some of them and some were a dollar fifty. I was like what? It was crazy <laughs> So I mean for Sally's to have OPI they usually have them on clearance But they don't have the 50% off put on them if that makes sense But anyways, so this is the Orly I picked up so beautiful. Okay. I Know I really want to show you this but I'm kind of I'm trying to keep myself composed, ladies. You're probably like, Elsie, just get to it. Okay, so um, the plate that I'm using for this is this image right here, which is from this amazing plate from Bundle Monster. Bundle Monster has um, this collection called Time Machine. They also release um, a Hawaiian one as well. And there is another collection, the Space Collection. This is an amazing, amazing plate. I love it. I love everything about it. And I'm super excited to show you this image right here of the man. He's so cool. He's so cool. He has this jacket with these little buttons on him. He also has one of those little eye glasses, you know, like the one eye glass. He has this cool top hat. He has pin pinstripe pants. I mean, how can you not love it? He is awesome. Okay, so the stamper that I used, I actually was able to stamp his whole entire this whole entire image onto the stamper I'm gonna show you something okay even with the creative shop stamper I wouldn't be able to get the whole entire body okay so I really would want something that really gets him complete and you and yes can you stamp him twice you can but with this stamper, it's amazing because you can pick up an image like this or an image like this one, which I'm going to show you. This one is the other one from Bundle Monster. As you see, I haven't opened it, but this is this plate is absolutely amazing. I mean, it has R2-D2 on it. I mean, how fabulous is that? I think they did an amazing job on this stamp stamping plate. It is 100% spectacular. Look at her. She looks like the female RoboCop. I mean, amazing. I love the little alien heads. I love this space right here that they did. I mean, this is hands down so amazing right here. The galaxy, these spaceships, the little, the little monsters. 
um, the claw guy. Oh, I'm so excited to have him. He's awesome. I I know this has to be the claw guy. I think the claw guy has three eyes on it or one eye. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to use him as the claw, claw little alien from Toy Story. <laughs> Only if you have kids, you wouldn't see and have seen the movie Toy Story. You know what I'm talking about. You have this here, like a maze, the little spaceship. I mean, R2D2. Look at him. He's amazing. The little the guns, the space guns. I always think about um, Men in Black when I see these type of guns. Anyways, this is an amazing plate. This is really not was not the focal point of this video, but I had to show it to you. Okay, so now, like this image here, or like the train, I love this train with the train tracks. Love it. Okay. Um, the other plate that I'm going to use is by Handy. Um, th what I'm using from this plate are the mustaches. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all three or just one, or I even use it at all. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how this goes. So, as I said, I've already made the decal stamper, so I'm going to show you this amazing stamping stamper. Okay, so this stamper is actually from Conad, and as you see, it is extremely bigger than I was supposed to have it, what I was comparing it to, and I forgot to leave it out. Okay, so I'm going to show you another um, flat type of stamper. This one here is the flat type of very firm stamper. And it's about a little bit more than one inch, as you can see from my finger. It's a little bit more than one inch. Okay, and it's definitely, look at how much longer it is. I mean, it's like about three of these. Okay, and what it has that's really cool is it has a curve. So when you pick up the image, you do have to roll it on. That's the best way to pick up an image, especially when it's a long image. So you, you would have to get used to it in order to get that technique, in order to really get the image the way you want to. Another key thing that I would tell you about this stamper it's basically like um, the red conad, I mean the pink conad, the long one, where it has the green on the other side, um, which I wanted to show you that too, and I didn't take it out. But if you know the conad, it has a small um, round with the green, and this is basically the same type of firm-based stamper that they used to do this. So, with that said... As you see, I've already, oop, I have already stamped my, my man, <laughs> and I've already painted him. So, I want to show you the colors that I used to get him all dolled up. Okay, so, um, some of these are, they don't have no name on it, and most of the ones that I use were stripers, because it's easy to paint decals when or you know on a stamper with the striper brushes at least that's what i find the easiest or if you use the dotting tool so it's up to you um this one here is from townsley girl this came from a uh, pack from walmart uh during christmas time it's a really beautiful blue of course it does not have a name uh, but this is what i painted his jacket with i think it's very royal it's cool you know Okay, now for these buttons that he has, and if you look at the image here, you'll see his cool buttons. And um, I painted two this brown color. I love this brown color. This is from Nail Art. I got this at Dollar Tree. And what I did was I painted two of the buttons, and I also painted some of his striping stripes on his pants, and also like the lip of the hat on the top, that's what I use this color for. It is um, cocoa. It's such a beautiful color. Perfect brown bear color. That's the whole reason why I even got the color was because it reminded me of a teddy bear. 
Okay, so um, the next color is this blue, also from Nail Art, and this is called Midnight Glitter. And it's a blue and it has um, some glitter in there, like a shimmer glitter. And I just use that like on the brace of the jacket and on the um, arm brace. And that's really all I used it for, just to kind of enhance the jacket a little bit. Okay, and then I used this beautiful green. It's like a teal. And this is from um, Sinful Colors. I actually also got this at Dollar Tree. And this is called Bonjour. So, fit, so fitting for my French man here, because this is what I consider him, my little French man. Okay, and um, it's really pretty. The, I used this for his tie, so you're not going to see it that well, but oh, let me see if I can get this to focus. So as you see, that's his tie. Okay, um, for his for his skin, like his face and his hand there, that you can you only get one hand, the other one is in his pocket. So I use this kind of um, face nude color, and it's just a French a French color. It's so great for using it for the skin. It really works really nice. Okay, and then this like gold beautiful shimmer is this here by it's by Beauty Trends. It's, it does not have a name anywhere, I don't think. But it's so beautiful. It has that same like iridescent shimmer through it. Oh, it's so pretty. I used it for um, two of the other buttons and also for um, the stripes on his pants. And then I used a tiny bit of white. And I used the white for his eyeball, which you can't see because it's already covered. But I also used the white for his eyeball and for his kind of like the inside shirt. And I use that as the color, the white. And then I also use black for his mustache. He has a mustache. It's kind of hard to, it's very tiny, but it's not a fill-in. It doesn't stamp black. I don't know why they didn't do that, but they didn't. Okay, so now it's time to pull him off the stamper. I hope this works. I really hope this works. So what you're going to need is, now, as you know, I prep for because I'm hoping to get him on all four nails. He might take three, I'm not sure. It just depends, you know, as you lay it onto the nail. Okay, now, what you are going to need is you're definitely gonna need some type of tweezer. Okay, I like the tweezers that have the flat if I'm using it for any type of um, decal that I'm doing, and not when I'm pulling it off the stamper. I use this. This is a great tool because it's plastic. It's not going to hinder or do any type of indentation onto the stamper. So this is definitely a great tool to use. They sell them dirt cheap at uh, Sally's for like 30 cents or 25 cents, something to that nature. So what I did was once I stamped the image, and painted the image, I put um, a full, really thick coat of Color Club. I like Color Club because for some reason it has a really good thick component when it comes to when you pull up, pull it off the stamper. I don't know if you understand what that means, but it sounded good. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> so as you see, you see where it's shiny? That's where I'm going to aim. So I can get, so I can just pull gently, pull it up. And then once I have a good enough to pull off with my tweezers, which I do, okay, I'm gonna start gently, gently removing the decal. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use my hand the rest of the way and as you see it's pretty cool now I'm gonna leave some of it on the stamper because I think that that would work best and I'm going to get one of my nails here uh -oh. I want to keep it up and I think we're going to start right there okay
Okay, so kind of know where I'm going to cut here. So I'm going to get my scissors. Okay. And I'm just going to cut right about there. Okay, so this is the first piece of the puzzle. Okay. <laughs> this is when you're being filmed, it kind of makes it difficult. So I want to get the edge as close as possible here to the edge of the nail. Okay. Then I'm going to just gently push down. Okay. All right. Ooh, he's cool looking. Look at that. Wait, let me, come on, focus. Look at that, look at the detail in that. That's awesome. Okay, so there's one. Okay, and of course it's, okay, there we go. Let's do number two. Okay, so here's number two. We gotta turn it this way. Get number two in place. It's kind of difficult when you're trying to get it perfect. So, as you see, he'd already came off. I'm so sorry, guys. I know that this is kind of like... Come on. And then we're just going to push down there. You got to press to make sure that you get it down. Once you put top coat, it'll all fall in place. Okay, so that's two. Okay, let's get three going. Okay, here's three. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to squeeze down. <laughs> this is so crazy. All right, but I'm telling you, the end result is going to look so nice. Okay, now I'm just going to cut here. Now, of course, if I would have used my smaller nail scissors like I'm supposed to, but I couldn't find them. I was not prepared for this <laughs> was not properly prepared okay so let's get his feet on here okay okay oh I like it okay so now now that he's all done whew, that was a lot so now I'm gonna pause a minute <laughs> And put some stretch feet on him, and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, my God. I love it. He came out spectacular. Oh, my God. It is so cool. I don't even think I'm going to put the mustache on it. I might later on, but I just think he looks so cool like that. I mean, I, I want you to see how he's so amazingly detailed. Let me show you his face there. Come on. I mean, Bundle Monster has really outdid themselves. I mean, their plates are amazing, but look at that. 
I hope it's really, there we go. Look at that, amazing. I love it, look at his tie and his top hat. So cool, I'm waiting for it to completely dry so that's why <laughs> this is his coat. And you see all the detail that's in his coat? See the buttons? And then this is the end part of his coat. And of course, the beginning of his amazing striper pants. I love the look on this guy. I mean, you can definitely be very versatile with him, you know? Look at his shoes. I got chucks on with sailor on. Got kiss myself. I'm so pretty. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just in a <laughs> I'm in a quirky mood. Look, look at his shoes. That's hot. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this whole thing with the Ah, come on, focus. With the decal. So now I'm gonna show you how to stamp it using this amazing stamper. Okay, so here is the image. Now, what I would recommend is you do want to use a stamping polish. Um, I found that because it might take, you know, that rolling process and it's longer, it might take you a little bit to get it all on the stamper. So, you know, stamping polishes take a little bit longer to dry. I'm using black from Mundo de Uñas. Now, when I actually stamped the image on the one that I used, I did not use the Mundo de Uñas. I actually used Sinful Colors. And it does work, but I found that it is better when you're. I was playing with these images and them being longer. So I'm going to go ahead and... Get my scraper which is right here I am using my creative shop stamper I mean scraper <laughs> and you also want to put a decent amount with you know stamping polishes like Mundo de Uñas you don't have to use that much but so I did about a little less than half the way because you want to make sure that you get all that polish into the image. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this gripped right, especially me being a lefty. So go from the bottom firmly and roll once. And there he is. And he is gorgeous. Look at him. Let me back up here. Look at that. As you see, and you could see all the, the detail. See his face. Sorry, maybe the glare is not picking, gonna pick up, pick up all of the detail. Look at that. Look at his ear. And that's his body. Look how sharp that came out. Just amazing. And now, what I would recommend is that before you go ahead and start coloring, you wanna go ahead and move whatever extras you don't want. Now I'm using my finger, which I shouldn't, but my nail, but you want to take a piece of tape and just remove anything that you have that you don't want before you actually start coloring in. And then once you color it in, then you would take a top coat and top coat the whole entire thing, let it dry. And what's great about this stamper is that you can really, you could put your four fingers in there, you can maneuver it so that you can paint, you can use the print brushes that come like in the, th um, in the, um, these type of, oh, I just lost my train of thought here. The um, striper brushes, there we go. Or use a regular brush or a dotting tool. So I hope you like my cool man. He's so cool. And again, this is from Bundle Monster and it is plate numbers, the extra large, 135. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's quite long, but um, I hope you do enjoy it. And it, again, as I said, this I got from a friend of mine that went to Brazil and brought it back from me. It is from Conad, though. So you want to try to look for this type of um, rectangular stamper from Conad. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And until the next one, bye, guys.